Kita ke informasi lainnya, pemirsa Direktur Pelaksana IMF, Kristalina Georgieva, memberikan peringatan tentang kondisi ekonomi global. Ia mendorong agar para pemimpin keuangan global berbuat lebih baik untuk meningkatkan potensi pertumbuhan dan membangun ekonomi lebih tangguh. Menurut Georgieva, perdagangan tidak akan lagi menjadi mesin pertumbuhan yang sama seperti sebelumnya. Ia menyebut telah memperingatkan hal ini pada 2019 lalu, namun kondisi ke depan diperkirakan akan lebih buruk. Ia mengibaratkan kondisi ekonomi global seperti menyiramkan air dingin ke wadah berisi air suam-suam kuku. Georgieva mengatakan ketegangan global tidak boleh dianggap remeh. Menurutnya dunia harus bertekad untuk bekerja guna menurunkan suhu geopolitik. Only is development assistance too small, but major players driven by national security concerns are increasingly resorting to industrial policy and protectionism, creating one trade restriction after another. Going forward, trade will not be the same engine of growth as before. It is the fracturing I want of back in 2019, right from this very place, except it is worse. It is like pouring cold water on already lukewarm world economy. We are in a difficult geopolitical environment. We are all very worried about the expanding conflict in the Middle East and its potential to destabilize regional economies and global oil and gas markets. Its humanitarian impact, alongside the prolonged wars in Ukraine and wars elsewhere, is heartbreaking. And it is harming confidence in the world economy. Di tengah suhu geopolitik yang masih panas, Direktur Pelaksana IMF Kristalina Georgieva memperkirakan pertumbuhan ekonomi global dalam jangka menengah akan lesu. Meski demikian, ia menyebut ekonomi global tidak akan seperti saat pandemi, tetapi masih jauh dari kata cukup baik. Median term growth is forecast to be lackluster, not sharply lower than pre-pandemic, but far from good enough. Not enough to eradicate world poverty, nor to create the number of jobs we require, nor to generate the tax revenues that governments need to service heavy debt loads, while attending to vast investment needs, including for the green transition. 